What's up guys, it's Overclock here. So today I'm gonna play a totally new game I just purchased and I think it's gonna be so damn awesome. So it is called Aero Fishing. It's like most cop simulator fishing games out there. It's pretty cool. It's thinking we just go out and just go and fish and enjoy yourself. Try to beat new records and as you guys can see here on the home screen, you, you, you can actually participate in tournaments. Now that is so damn awesome. I mean, there's almost no game, fishing game, I've played so far that you can actually go out and do some tournaments. There was a game, it was called Bass, Bass something. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, this is more for cops. I mean, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm like totally happy and excited. So let's go through this game. Maybe you guys are interested, interested to see what it have. Otherwise, just keep a minute or two in where I'm fishing. So, <laughs> I know, I know. So next to that, uh, let's go for it. At the top, we've got Academy. So that's cool. That's where you technically learn any everything. So as you guys can see, I've got a gold medal next to the basics. So I've only done the basics, but I did play a bit. I think I'm, I just entered level three. So I was I just wanted to check out the game a bit before I just make a video. I mean, like I don't want to look like a complete idiot. You guys know. Uh, so yeah, I've done the basics. So then obviously there's a tutorial when you've got a fish on. What you must do, how you must play, and so forth. You get a stalking one. So as you walk through the water, uh, what you must do and not do, uh, because you'll, you'll, you guys will see. As soon as you approach the water, all the fishes are jumping and probably chasing them away as well. So then we have got baiting. So this looks really, really awesome. I'll talk about this later. And then multiple rods. So that also I learned while I was playing. So then obviously you get your freedom fishing. You get a store. Uh, I don't know that store. I went into it. I didn't even really look. Let's have a look quick. So I've seen this is the stuff. Oh, so here you can buy new fishing areas and that. So that that's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's quite cool. So let's go back. So if we go to R1, which is game modes, we get single player, we get multiplayer. So I can actually enjoy playing fishing with you guys. I mean, would that be awesome? So then I got Academy again, which is kind of stupid. I mean, like. Check it out, exactly the same stuff. It's not like any other stuff. And then obviously you get your player profiles and your tackle box and so forth. But I'm going to go freedom fishing. So we can choose a few places. As you guys can see, we get the, this name is horrible. Or I don't know, maybe it's just me. But the observatory. Oh my goodness. Then we get a Lorene. Lorene. Then we get a Digger Lake, SD John's Lake, and a Pressure Del Monte Bravo. Bravo. It sounds like some kind of Forza racing track, whatever, but let's go there. So far, I've played on this map as well, so I'm a bit clued up with it, and I've, I've seen a bit around the map. So I'd rather bring you guys some footage that it seems like I know what I'm talking about than just looks like somebody's uh, sucking something out of their thumb. But anyway, so there's 10 acres in size, 19 new boss fish, and 10 new trophies. That is so awesome. So we can actually choose where we're going to go fish. So uh, I would like to get a, a big piece of ground open so where I can go fishing. So I think I'm going to go and fish there. Now, I don't want to throw straight from like the one bank to the other bank, like throw over to another. I, I want to get like a nice big angle. There we go. This is a beautiful angle. I mean, like. There's not so far cost distance that way, there's more that way and a little bit that way. But anyway, so this is called a pig. A pig is somewhere where you can go and put up your tackle box and your rods and everything. I'll hold in X to do that. So we're going to have to cost now. So I want to show you guys a few things. Obviously, if I press triangle, I'll go to my inventory. I get a few, we've got a few rigs. I got one that sits at the bottom that holds the bait and the other one is like floating. So then I've got white bread flakes and blood worms. So I'm going to try both of them. So for now I'm going to stick to the rig and uh, what do you call it? The um, white bread flakes. So let's throw it. Oh wow that sun is sharp. So let's throw it over there. Where are we going to go? Let's yeah this should be fine. <laughs> oh that was too hard. Oh wow that was not too bad. So what I need to show you guys is after you cast you need to reel in a bit. And then you put your rod down. It's just so that they say something in the basics, just so that you know how your your ground is. Because sometimes it's like grass and stuff like that. So obviously when you've got ground bait, it lays in between the grass. And honestly, you just can't see uh, what you should... Uh, the fish won't be able to see it to eat it. 
So let's go and cast that one over there. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a good one. Oh, wow. That one went really far. And drop. So uh, let me try out that, uh, what do you call it? Rod 3. Let's put a bloodworm on it. There we go. Put head back. And kabow. Actually, I don't want to cash with three rods. It's just too many rods to handle. I mean, like, with this game, all three lines can run at once, but you can only handle one rod. So, and it's also not like this guy is really in a rush to get all three rods and all three fish. It's, it's just like really chilled and relaxed. Takes his time, he removes the fish, like, oh, check out this fish, and then the other fish is already gone. But so far, guys, what do you guys think about the game? I think it's pretty awesome. You guys should see, as soon as you catch a fish, it even gets better and better. Oh, there we go. It's rod one. Oh, yeah. So let's go. Also, I need to take my tension down. There we go. So this fish, in size, does not look too bad. Quickly. Quickly. Oh, wow. Like, you can adjust your tension. The higher the tension is, the more likely... It is for your line to snap, but the quicker you get it in as well. This fish is fighting and the sun is horrible. I don't know if it's my light shining in me or is that sun, but... Almost, almost. Come fishy. I'm just going to take it up to like 28. And hopefully I can bring it in a bit closer. No. This fish just can't stop fighting. I need to get it close to me. There we go, catch. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, my line is outside the woods. But anyway, let's check out. Oh, wow. This fish is beautiful, guys. Wow. It is uh, 7.2 kilograms. That's bigger than my, my biggest carp. My biggest carp in real life was 6 kilograms. This is 7. That's really, really good. I don't want to release it. Let's release it before he dies. We don't want him to die, no. Oh, jeez, guys. Wow. And let's pull that one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to take the tension down before I forget. 25, 26. What right about 30? It's not beeping yet. 32. That's like on the edge. It's coming in. Oh, there we go. Let's drop to 30. At 30 sounds like a good number to keep the fish. So far, it's been a good round, guys. I already got my biggest carp. And this is my second fish already, so... Come on. I'm waiting for you to show me the catch button. Almost, almost. It's just swimming a bit away now. Almost. There we go, catch. So the fish is tired now. We're gonna like, scoop him out. And, oh, this is a mirror carp, guys. I'm, I'm almost 100% certain about that. Yes, I'm right, it's a mirror carp. 6.73 kilograms. So that was about the average size of the one I caught. Mine was 6 point something, I can't remember. But it's decent. I mean, like, it's a nice size. It's a bit wider than the shoulders. So let's go and cast this one in again. Remember, we caught that one on a blood worm. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great cost. Only good can come from that cost. And let's put it down. Let's head over to rod one. We need to cross that one in as well. We've got the biggest fish that side so far. <gasps> come on, come on, quickly. I just costed that one in. Oh, that's rod two. Oh, that one just... <gasps> ah, that was so funny. Come on, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, did you guys see that fish? You could actually like see how it jumped out of the water. It's 30 too much. 28. Wow, this is so cool, guys. Let's go to 30, 32, 35, that was 33. And this fish is coming in pretty good. Good. So it's almost here. Let's go to 30. Oh wow. 28. I don't want to lose it. 
That one is like struggling, I think. Come on. It's like right here. And catch. Oh, it's laying on its side. There we go, we've got it. This doesn't seem... Oh, what is this? Isn't this that Higo fish? Higo. Something, something like that. Oh, it's a mirror carp. I mean, like, look at the shape of his head. I, I can't believe that. Oh, another one. I didn't see the weight on it. Quickly, dude, quickly. As you guys can see, he's not in a rush. I mean, like... Ah! And go. Wow. It's like 28 was on the edge there. 30, 32, 33, 34, 35. Nah, this is not that a big fish. Let's go back to 30. Rod 3 mustn't run now. If this was a tournament, I would have done pretty good. What do you guys think? <gasps> I lost my first fish! Let's recast that one. I'm so sad. I was just... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh! I must say, my skills with gaming did improve a bit. That was a really good cast. So let's head over to Rod 2. <laughs> oh no, that's too much. When you apply too much power to your cast, the power meter will go red. And you can't see the rest. So usually what I think that happens is if you do cast too hard, uh, obviously it, will, it might go sideways or it might not reach its distance or it's either going to be one of those cars that goes like right up and straight down or it's going to be those cars that goes low but it goes like super fast. So yes, now it's the waiting game. -ha -ha -ha. So far it's a great round. 7 kilograms, 6... Ah! There we go. I really got a fright there actually. But it, it was like one of those exciting frights. It wasn't such a bad fright. 30... My word of advice is, is the higher the tension is, the smaller the fish is. The less the tension is, the bigger the fish is. Oh wow, my other rod just ran. I mean like, dude, get the fish out. It's like right in front of you. So I lost the fish there. There we go, catch. What is that? I can't see. I would like to catch uh, catch a catfish. Ooh. Take that big tail. This can't be a cop, right? Or is it a cop? It's a bream. 1.94 kilograms. Quickly, which rod? Rod 1. Oh, the fish is still on. Oh, so as I said earlier. No, stay on this road, dude. Not ah uh, rod. Oh wow, my other rod's going. <gasps> Guys, how do I how do I go to rod two? Hopefully, I'm I'm gonna try something out. I mean, like, oh, that fish got loose. You know, I tr I just wanted to try something out. What happened is, let's just get a rod back a bit. So. In real life, as soon as the hook hooks a fish, it can't come easily out. It depends what fish it is though. So what I was trying to see now, maybe if I can hook that fish and try to play with the other fish and hook him out, uh, it might be the same thing then. It, that fish can stay on as well, but it doesn't seem like that. So it's pretty, it's not that good. This fish is taking long to come in, I'm, I must say. I can see it's getting tired because I'm after taking, um, taking the tension up the entire time. With this one, I'm going to play really safe. 28. Come on! I think this fishy might be big, guys. It might be a decent size. There we go, catch it. Oh, wow, it seems to be good. Oh. <gasps> Wow, this thing is huge. 
And it's fat. Look at that belly. No more McDonald's for you. 6.8. That's that's sad. I thought this is going to weigh like 10 kilograms. So yes. What about one more fish, guys? One more fish. And I'll call this an episode, sadly. I'm on rod. Which rod am I on? I'm on rod 2. Let's go and cast that rod there. Where it's supposed to be. Reel it in a bit, place down, rod one, there's probably no food on it anyway, so I mean, I might as well just reel it up. Uh, I could have just pressed circle there to be honest, but anyway. <laughs> not, a, not a bad cost. 20, almost 30 meters. So this, this lake is not really that big. Rod three, that way. Oh no! I thought I did not press the button. I love I get the biggest fish there. Now let's just do it over. <laughs> I don't even need this rod probably because one of the other rods is going to run now. See guys, that rod was that cost was really high. Oh, it's not, just landed right in front of me. And there the line falls in. So don't cast too hard. Rather cast a little bit softer. Or oh, on the dot. Oh my goodness sake. There we go. So th that rod was hardly even... The food was hardly even up. Let's check it out. So this fish seems to be a decent size. The tension is really strong from a pull on 28. Let's go to 32. 33, I'm pushing it. 34, I'm pushing it more. I need to get my rod up. 35, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. 32. Oh no. 30. Ah, 28. I don't know if it's stuck on a rock, a rock or something. Uh, cheese. Oh no, there's another fish, guys. Come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, take it. Yes, catch. So check this out. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look, it's taking his time, drinking his coffee. Wow, that's a nice common carp. Quickly, 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 dude. Come on. Ah, 5.2 kilograms. Let's see which rod was that. That was rod 2. Oh, yes. And fish are on. Oh, wow. This is going to be... Really? Such a small fish? Oh, no. That fish ain't going anywhere. 30. 32 33 30 I don't want to lose the last fish Imagine rod 3 runs now as well That would be so awesome Twenty five. Let's get him this way And catch Oh wow <laughs> That fish is like Whoop <laughs> So there we go, another common carp. I just can't believe his head is going like that down. It's got like a hunchback or whatever. So, but anyway, it's a five kilogram. That's cool, guys. And it's a common carp. And I'm almost halfway with level three. That's cool. I mean, like, this is really cool, guys. I enjoy the game. I enjoy everything. The trophies you get. I mean, this game. <gasps> guys, I can't believe it. Three fishes in a row. You guys owe me big time. You guys owe me a luck. <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. Not a big fish though. Come on. If I go to 31 or 32, I'm pushing it. I don't want to push it. Oh, it already did like, Boop. I mean, like, it's on thread. It, it doesn't want to come in. I want to go out. I don't want to lose it. Let's go 28. This fish is like fighting right here in front. Three meters. Four meters. Oh wow, catch! Oh, it's not that big. 
But it still gave a decent fight, like right here in front of me. And it's a mirror corp. Oh wow, this was pretty awesome guys. I really did enjoy this. It's four kilograms is a mirror corp, correct? So before I say goodbye, let me just release a fish. We don't want him to drown of all the oxygen. No, I'm joking. But anyway, so yes, guys, this was... Oh, what's that? Uh, anyway, so this was me, guys. I just want to say, check out my guy. I just want to say thank you so much for watching us, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. I uh, thank you for... If you guys are still watching, like, at this present moment, you guys are totally awesome. Uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, especially, I mean... I would like to bring you guys more footage of uh, Aero Simulator. I think it's really awesome. And obviously there's so much more I can unlock in that. But I'm talking too much again now. Sorry guys. Uh, cheers guys.